Welcome to the South Carolina video tutorial on how to use the interactive court forms on South Carolina Legal Services statewide website, www.lawhelp.org sc. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the features of the A2J author. Now that is a document assembly software which is designed to help self-represented litigants easily complete court documents that are ready to be filed with the court system. When navigating the statewide website, you will find self-help forms available for your use. These self-help forms were approved by the South Carolina Judicial Department for use by people who choose to represent themselves in court. When you click on the subject area that corresponds with your legal needs, for example, divorce, you will be directed to a page with information you will need to complete the online form. When you're ready to begin, click on the appropriate link. After you click on the link, you'll be sent to your start page on our national server. This server is safe and secure. On this page, you can choose to fill out your legal forms. Immediately, by clicking the Get Started or the Proceed buttons. Or you can sign up to save your work just in case you need to access the forms at a future date. Your interview session will end after two hours of inactivity. We encourage you to save your answers so that you'll have enough time to complete the forms. Before you fill out your legal forms, please click on our Terms of Use page. To use our forms, you must acknowledge that our site provides legal information. It does not give legal advice. If you need legal advice, you'll need to talk to a lawyer. Second, this site is not for commercial use. And finally, this site is for low-income people. If you can afford an attorney, we encourage you to hire one rather than to use this site. After you've agreed to the terms of use, you may begin working on your legal forms. Take a minute to examine this page. The woman on the road will be your guide to completing these forms. She will ask simple and direct questions to get all the information you'll need to produce completed legal forms for your case. At the top of the screen, you'll see the My Progress bar. If you click on the bar, you'll be able to see the question that you're on, as well as the questions that you've answered. If you need to return to a previous screen for any reason, you can either use the My Progress bar, or you can click the Back button, which is located to the left of the Progress bar. If you click on the Continue button, you will move on to the next screen. However, if you click Continue on a screen and it does not allow you to do so, you may need to include additional information to move on to the next page. Check to make sure you have filled out all of the required fields. If you do not have the information it is asking for, save your work and then return to the program when you have that additional information. You'll notice that on some pages a Learn More or Help bubble will appear. If you find a term or question confusing, click on the Help bubble to learn additional information. If for some reason you answer a question that disqualifies you from use of the program, it is only because the program is not right for your needs. It does not mean that you don't have a valid legal claim. If this occurs, call your local legal services office or attorney referral program. If you do qualify for the program, continue answering questions and watch as your icon moves closer to the courthouse. When you finish the interview and answered all of the necessary questions, you will reach a screen that resembles this one. You will now click on the Submit button to download your legal forms. At this point, again, you'll be given the option of saving your work in case you want to return to it at a future date. You may also go back to the form immediately before if you just realize you answered a question incorrectly. However, if you're happy with the answers you've given, you can just click the Get Document button where you'll be allowed to review, print, and or email your document to yourself or someone else. Remember, at this point, you are responsible for handling your own case. You will need to file these forms and represent yourself in court. We hope that these forms will make that job easier for you so that you can access the court system in a meaningful way. We also hope you found this instructional video useful. If you have any further questions, please seek more information on South Carolina Legal Services' statewide website or contact your local legal services office.